Right guys, Mark Crossfield here with Golf WRX, Golf Swing Weekly Fixed Time every Tuesday, 8.30 UK time. And today I'm talking about the top three reasons I see people getting their setup in a bit of a mess. Now I'm not a massive preacher of setup being king, but there are some basic patterns I see with people setting up to the ball in a way that makes it very hard for them to deliver the club. Let's show you what my top three issues are with setup. Let's get stuck in. Right, so setting up to the ball. It's uh, often thought of an absolute must to get right for people to hit perfect shots. There are variations in setup, lots of variations if you watch different players because we're all trying to achieve the same task of hitting target but in very different deliveries and different ways. But there are some real kind of rules that I see with setup that people do break that makes it very hard for them to deliver that club in a way that's going to help them hit the target. Obviously these are generalised patterns but this is what I tend to see with a lot of golfers struggling to deliver. First one, think about this, my right hand is lower than my left on the club as I hold my golf club. So what that means is my right shoulder should be lower than my left. Then in turn, my spine should have a little bit of tilt. So I should have a little bit of spine tilt or I'm bending forwards and I'm tilting to my right as a right-handed golfer because literally one hand is going lower than the other on the club. What I see lots of golfers doing is I see them setting up in a way where their hips are slightly back, shoulders quite level, and then almost tilting forwards towards the target. This is a great way to deliver the club down and to the left. So if you're someone who's desperately trying to hit from a certain direction, say more into out, this is the most common issue I see with setup. When people get there, they're not appreciating, say, the natural lines of their body. So it's not even a golf thing. If I just stand here with my arms level down beside my side and drop my right lower than my left, well, my hips slightly pitch forwards, my upper body tilts to the side. You've got to follow that pattern in your swing. The way I used to do it as an amateur when I was playing a lot, I would actually set myself to the ball, drop my right hand off by my right leg and then just introduce it to the club as I do. So at the moment it's level with my left hand. As I introduce it to the club, it goes lower. Hips just pitch just slightly forward and my right shoulder drops, giving me a little bit, tiny bit of upper body tilt to the right. This is a great way for you guys to try and think about even shallowing the club on the way down and stop these feelings of swinging a long way left. So the second issue I see with setup for golfers is trying to think of ball position, so where the ball sits in relationship to your feet, as a definite. Where should I have the ball with my seven iron? Where should I have it with my five iron? Where should I have the ball with my driver? Now there are a few patterns that you could follow with ball position, which we'll come to, but I want you to start thinking of ball position not so much as a definite. So for me, if I hit my seven iron, I'm gonna play it very much from the back of the ball, the bit I'm hitting slightly forward of center. That for me delivers the neutral pass that I wanna hit to hit my shape shot that I'm trying to gain, which for me relatively straight to a slight draw. Now I've played with very strong players who can hit four irons from the same position because they're powerful enough to get the ball up in the air. Now that isn't handicap specific. I've played with high handicappers who can do that and I've played with very good pros who can do that as well. Now, for me, say a four iron, I would push that ball slightly further forward in my stance towards my front foot because I don't want my angle of attack to be as down with a four iron because I'm struggling to get it up in the air, not like game one anymore, but when I used to. So I'm going to actually get my angle of attack feeling like it's maybe one down to two down opposed to four down with a seven iron. So I'm pushing it slightly forward. So I'm aware if I move my ball position in different places, it's moving my angle of attack. So making me hit down more, level more, up more, those kind of things. Now I'm also aware that it tends to move the path of the club. So the further back I have it, I tend to swing more to the right. And the further forward I have it, I tend to swing more to the left. So this awareness of actually where the ball is being played from in my feet and what it does to my delivery allows me to play at a better standard. It's a skill that I would take on the course. So I need to get one higher, seven iron here over some trees. I'm gonna push the ball forward in my stance to make sure my angle of attack is level, almost feeling like it's coming up if the lie allows it, but this tends to go a bit left, so I'm gonna aim down the right. If I'm always practicing one correct ball position, how are you gonna ever learn that shot? Ball position, it's not a constant. You need to think of it much more as a dynamic thing. There are some basic ideas of it going from more forwards, might help you hit it more on the way up, more back, more on the way down. It applies to me, 
often doesn't apply to many of my students subject to how they deliver their handling relationship to the head again it's very player specific you find out what ball positions work for you best play with them and experiment right and the third setup issue that i see a lot with students really common this is this desire to have the most straight adam scott like back in the world and what i see when people try to over straighten their back is this real kind of lack of oh, movement and certainly lack of speed what you've got to remember and i'm no spine doctor but people have different shaped spines different amounts of curvature in their back from different ages to different body shapes and sizes so trying to get this massively over straight back and i see students do it more often or not for students makes them like that shot lose power lose any kind of mobility to move you watch people like um Colin Montgomery, great example of someone who stood in a way that helped him play the game he wanted to play. Um, and there's many of Jack Nicholas even at the top. You know, he wasn't Adam Scott styly straight back. He had quite a round top of his back. And for me, when I'm standing, if I actually start pushing my backside out too much, I get this little kind of curve at the bottom of my spine, which then for me restricts hip movement, restricts speed, uh, and it makes me harder for me to strike it, to be honest. So calm down with your back. So what I like to see in your postures, I like you leaning forwards. I like you to try and get the pressure on the balls of your feet, less on the heels. Um, I don't mind you feeling like you've got the kind of back of your legs just slightly tightening up a little bit as you lean forwards, but get out of this idea of the Adam Scott. I know he looks good, but this over straight back, ah. Oh. It's not natural. It's not gonna be your normal body shape. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope, all the normal social places. Also, come and visit my new website, markcrossfieldgolf.com. See you over there.